One UFO researcher has a series of clips that indicate a pattern of UFOs near the U.S.-Mexico border. We've investigated one before, and now there's yet another. Take a look. February 3rd, 2020, south of Tucson, Arizona, at approximately 2100 hours, a Border Patrol FLIR camera scans a residential area. Houses and cacti populate the frame, when suddenly, a strange white object appears. It glides across the screen with an almost humanoid silhouette, passing over a long stretch of desert and even some cattle. It maintains both a consistent elevation and that bright white color. The video is one of several shot by U.S. authorities and leaked to UFO investigator Andy Marshall. The footage was leaked to me by a Department of Homeland Security agent. He wished to remain anonymous. He knew what was captured in these videos were anomalous and that he had to get the videos out somehow to show the world that these things are real. Andy dubs the video La Bruja, Spanish for the witch, because it looks like a witch sitting upright on a broomstick. Longtime FLIR technician David Falch says that to understand the thermal footage, you first need to know that in this case, the camera is set to display white as cold and black as hot. What you're seeing is a white object in a black hot scene. So this being white means it's ice cold. You don't see anything like that in the sky. You see birds, you see aircraft. Everything is putting on a warm thermal signature. There's nothing out there in the sky that's got a cold thermal signature. Nothing that we know of. But Andy can think of a similar unknown object spotted around Tucson, which came to be known as the rubber duck. The rubber duck incident took place November 23rd, 2019. And it was shot from a reconnaissance plane. And as they were overlooking the landscape, an object came into view. And they recorded it for up to 40 minutes. That object that was captured in that footage is almost identical to the one captured in La Bruja. The shape, the fact that it was emitting zero heat. In 2021, Andy helped leak the rubber duck footage, so-called because it looks like a rubber duck. Here on Proof, we declared it a genuine UFO, and a recent paper from the Scientific Coalition of UAP Studies, or SCU, concurred. Falch, who contributed to the paper, can attest to the in-depth analysis which led to that conclusion. The paper investigated the characteristics of the rubber duck, what the approximate temperature was, the speed of the aircraft, the trajectory, the flight path. The paper found the rubber duck anomalous in three respects. Its white cold temperature, its odd shape, and its speed, especially that it flew against the wind, meaning it could not have been a balloon. All these things combined to come up to this big conclusion of they didn't know what it was either. So, is La Bruja related to the famed rubber duck? They're both ice cold, not having any signs of propulsion, not changing thermal signature, looking like they're on a linear travel. It, it doesn't make any sense. Now, because we're talking about the U.S.-Mexico border, we have to consider whether both these objects were aerial devices used to smuggle drugs. After all, Border Patrol agents recently saw 21 cases of drone infiltration along the San Diego-Mexico border in a 13-month period. But that's just one possible explanation. Let's see what our experts say. We first ask SCU President Rich Hoffman if there is any way this could be a bird. Even in infrared, you can make out uh, a lot of details that are pretty remarkable. You'd be able to tell that it was a bird or not a bird. There's no flapping and birds aren't cold like this. In thermal, a bird will appear dark. And as we did with the rubber duck footage, we have to consider if this could just be a balloon. In this case, the wind actually supports the theory. Falch estimates that the FLIR camera is pointed southwest, meaning La Bruja is headed southeast. And the weather data in Tucson at the time of the sighting shows a light breeze from the west northwest. But Hoffman says it doesn't look quite right. Some party balloons, for example, like latex, will be see-through. A mylar balloon will reflect the heat from the ground, and so it wouldn't be completely white like this. So could this be some type of conventional aircraft? Falch doesn't think so. A helicopter or plane is out of the question because this FLIR 
is just looking around, kind of almost at a ground level. So if it was an aircraft, it would have to be extremely small in size, and it's not emitting any type of heat, so it's obviously easy to rule out that it's no type of aircraft. If it has to be low flying, then could it be a drone? You would see stop, go movements that would kind of sway the object. You don't see that in La Bruja. And how the signature looks compared to a drone, you would see a difference from the heat and the thermal signature generated from the engines. So is this really a UFO? Bottom line is you've got an unusual shape here, and I haven't been able to put this to anything rational. It just doesn't match up. So it's unknown to me. I can't begin to classify it at all. Our verdict, like the SCU's conclusion with the rubber duck, we also think La Bruja is a genuine UFO.